So everyone is talking about Drake today because he has a new album and he made some big news by saying that he might take a year off from music to focus on his health. But that's not the only thing that people are talking about when it comes to Drake. They're also talking about his obsession with Rihanna and did he shade her in a new song? Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So today is a big day for music releases. Drake doesn't need any more promo from me, so I will promote someone else. Kay Michelle, who consistently provides us great music. I don't know if you guys have consistently listened to Kay Michelle's music, or you just listen to all of the things that she gets viral for on social media. But no, she's consistently put out some solid albums. And I've already started listening to her new album, I'm the Problem, already. And I believe this is supposedly her last R&B album, even though I feel like she said that a couple albums ago. But, you know, we've also been waiting on a country album from Kate Michelle. But her new album, I'm the Problem, is out. So go check it out and let me know what you think in the comment section. So, Drake... So the last time I talked about Drake was just a couple of weeks ago when Halle Berry threw him under the bus, rightfully so, because he used a picture of her where she was getting slimed at the Nickelodeon Awards as the cover of his new single with SZA. And apparently, Halle says he did reach out to her to ask whether he could use the photo, and she said no, and he did it anyway. So she was like, why'd you even ask? I'm giving you context here, so... <laughs> So that you know why I'm bringing that up. So his new album is officially out today. All right. So a couple of things before we get into what he's saying about Rihanna. He's saying that he might take a year off from music. Might. He doesn't say necessarily that he's definitely going to do it. Because he's been dealing with some stomach issues for a while now. Probably won't make music for a little bit. I'm going to be real with you. I need to focus on my health first and foremost. Um, and I'll talk about that soon enough um no, nothing okay. crazy but just Tell like you know i want people to be healthy in life and i've been having the craziest Gigi! problems Gigi! for years with my stomach i was just saying what it is now i'm saying i was gonna say i'll say it so I, I need to focus on on my health and i need to get right um and i'm gonna do that and then i also need to oh you better yeah 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 wow the timing the timing yes okay sit down i need to um I need to get right. Oh my I have God, a lot Jack. of other things oh my that God, uh, I would love to focus on. So oh I'm going to lock God, the door Jack. in the studio for a little bit. I don't oh even know God, what a little Jack. bit is. Um, maybe, maybe a year Jack. or something. Or maybe a little longer. Yo, a so he said maybe a year, maybe a little bit longer. Honestly, I like Drake's music. I don't know him as a person. If I like him whether or not, based off recent behavior, not really. Not really. But... I do enjoy his music, but I have to say, I haven't really listened to Drake's music in the last couple of albums just because he puts out a lot of music. And I don't know about anyone else. It, it, this is the same with Chris Brown. They put out so much music that I just can't keep up anymore and I sort of just check out. I just realized that. And it's not because I don't like them as artists. I It's just too much. It's too much and I'm just like, all right, I don't, if it's popping enough, eventually it will get to me. Anyone else like that? Hmm. So he's saying that he has to focus on th these stomach issues that he's been having. And if you've been following the channel for a long time, I told you 2023 that it's all about my health. I am prioritizing my health because at the end of the day, all these people that love Drake, all these people that love me, <laughs> if we're not well, these people are not going to be here taking care of us. Even though I know some of us, some of you in the in the in some of you that are subscribers would take care of me. But you know what I'm saying? You got to focus on your health. That money, fame, Rihanna is not going to be your end all be all. She's already with someone else. All right. Perfect segue. <laughs> perfect segue. So a lot of fans are speculating that these lyrics in his new song are about Rihanna. So our friends over at TMZ, they write this. They says Drake, Drake dissed a particular gal. All right. From his past on for all the dogs. And fans thinks he's firing at his former flame, Rihanna. ASAP Rocky's feelings be damned. 
So they're saying the possible Rihanna diss pops up at the opening of Fear of Heights, where Drake raps, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you. They could never be. Gal can't ruin me better than better him than me. Then he continues. He says, better. It's not me. I'm anti. I'm anti. Rihanna's last album, anti. He then says, yeah, and the sex was average with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay he says and the sex was average with you yeah i'm anti because i had it with you okay i'm auntie like your daddy's sister auntie like a family picture and i had way better itches than you to be honest yeah, that man, he's still with you. He can't leave you. Y'all go on vacation, I bet, in Antilles. I bet it's Antilles. Drake, who hurt you? Oh, Rihanna. So if you've been following Rihanna and Drake's situation for years, first of all, she's never claimed him. She's never confirmed that they have any sort of relationship. Neither has he, but everyone has seen how obsessed he's been. And I'm not using that word lightly. Didn't he do a whole billboard celebrating her, her achievement? Her, I forgot what award it was. He did a whole billboard. He presented the award. Like, she's never really claimed him. And maybe because he's a little too much sometimes. But he's a Scorpio and she's a Pisces. So that actually relationship, there could be a connection there. It could possibly work. But something about Drake has turned Rihanna off. Maybe because he's kind of disrespectful to women, specifically black women. Shading Megan Thee Stallion, doing what he recently did to Halle Berry. And I'm sure there's so many other examples that you guys will remind me in the comments. So as soon as I read this, because you know the fans always read into everything. So I was just like, oh, I bet it's not anything serious. Then I read the lyrics and I was like, oh, this is definitely about Rihanna. How dare he shade her about, oh, sex, was, sex with you was average. Sidebar, I'll say this. A lot of people that you think were probably like the best sex in the entire world based off their personality or their persona, usually probably they are just average. But I'll take average over lame. Just saying. And I bet you if Rihanna was like, Drake, come back to me, he would. Drake, you're so lame. And I feel like you get, you've gotten more lame as more famous that you've gotten. And I don't know what that's about. Maybe you need to settle down. And I know you probably would have settled down for R Rihanna. But she decided to go with ASAP and have two babies with him. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get married. But you have to remember, ASAP and Rihanna were best friends before they were anything else. Oh, Drake. Woo, 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 Drake. It's going to be okay. You have a new album out. Take the year off and not only get your stomach right, get your head right. Take a vacation. Speak to a therapist. Figure out why. I mean, he's a Scorpio. Shout out to the Scorpios. But Scorpio relationships. <sighs> Google schmoogle it, y'all. So I'm not surprised. When people tell me, like, oh, they're in and out relationships, they're not in a relationship, and they tell me they're signing, I'm like, oh, well. So I'm not surprised. Drake. But also Drake is Drake. I think Drake has sort of gotten caught up in, I'm famous, I need a certain type of woman, I can't get that certain type of woman, so I'll just sleep with randoms. But you won't marry random. So maybe spend this year getting your gastrointestinal situation together, which is very important. I, will, I just said that. Very important. And then maybe get your, your personal life that put put value on your personal life instead of your career. You've spent all of that. You are the biggest artist of all of all, of this era, I will say. So, focus on that, Drake. Leave Rihanna and other black women alone. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on Drake's album. I want to know your thoughts on any new music that came out today and your thoughts on Drake's obsession with Rihanna. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the fire, I got the fuse. You make a fire, I'll ask you, follow my leading.